Hello YouTube, in this video I'm gonna show you how to install OnePlus One USB drivers on Windows, basically the ADB drivers. In this video I'm going to discuss three methods for this. You can try one by one, if one goes fail, you can try the other one. So let's start. First of all, I just want to and want to download the universal Windows ADB driver. I'm giving this link in the video description below. You can go and download from here this link. So here is the universal ADB driver. So first you need to install this driver. If you already install this one, just repair universal ADB driver and then restart your system. You need you should restart your system and after come back. If this method didn't help, there is another method in which you need to download a Samsung USB driver. I'm providing the link in the video description also. You can download from the link. Here you can see this is the Samsung USB driver for mobile. And you need to install that driver first. After that, after the installation, you should restart your computer and then come back and then open the device manager from the manage option if you right click on the my computer you can open the computer management from there you can see the device manager and find your android device from there and then right click on that one and then update driver software you can find a option there click on that option and then next field you can choose browse my computer for driver software and then there is one more option called let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer click on that one and then you can see a samsung android adb interface choose the first one and then next click and then install it most probably your problem will be solved if you still your problem is still there i have one more software to recommend uh, it is uh, developed by one next year developer and this after name is one plus one toolkit by manu droid 19 you can get this link in the description below just go and download that software so this is a software you need to install it first from this link i already installed it as you can see here it's starting the adb now it's checking for the updates okay so here you can see there is an option in this software there is an option called install driver here so manage click on that manage drivers and there are like one two three four four steps are there you can read one by one and then you can follow this instruction if none of the options above work so by this using this tool uh, your problem will be solved anyway and after that just reboot your phone to fast boot mode by pressing volume up and home button at the same time and then you can use the fast boot devices command to work i hope this method works if you still have any questions put that command on the comment section below thanks for watching please subscribe for more